Welcome to Gilleleje, Denmark. This is our first episode of our new season, A Cultural Journey Through Denmark. And this is also my hometown. Hey, my name is Frederick Cornelius. Join me on an exciting adventure through Denmark. In Gilai, there is around 6,700 inhabitants. So it is a town, not a village. And uh, it has a pretty interesting history. Let's check it out. Gilai is known for their picturesque harbor, which is one of the only old harbors in the north coast of Denmark in North Zealand. So um, yeah, you should check it out if you ever come here. It's so beautiful. The name is cold. First thing first, we have to try some delicacies. I'm gonna bring some fish for us and we're gonna taste it. This is a Danish fiskefrikadel, also called a fish meatball. Let's try it. Of course, we have to try um, a delicacy, and here we have remoulade with um, fiske frikadelle. Let's try it. Very delicious. Um, freshly made from the uh, fish surrounding Gilai. Pretty good. The harbour of Gilai is the fifth largest commercial fishing harbour in Denmark currently, so it's worth checking out. Most days it's pretty windy, but like today it's okay, it's mild wind. Gilai is very much a tourist town and a lot of tourists visit here every summer and you can definitely feel that. Now we are in May, but in just two weeks it will be filled with tourists, which is a great thing, but also a bit stressful sometimes. That's why I'm hiding here with the ducks. You heard about Denmark being the most bike friendly place? Maybe. Maybe. Here we have a uh, crab race, so they will put out crabs and you have to compete with your crab? Oh no, strange people. Gila is also home to a big shipyard where you are renovating old and new ships. So if you live here you can sometimes see ferries, you can see expensive yachts, you can see everything. It's pretty interesting and unique for this place. It's pretty interesting to walk under these boats and uh, ships because you can you get a pretty new feeling of what a a, a boat is actually. It's a it's a huge amount of work and uh, sometimes you can see them paint the ships here. You can see them fixing stuff, and it's uh, it's pretty nice. This is a, a memorial uh, for the uh, Jews who escaped during the Second World War which we're going to talk about in a few minutes. Um, remarkable, it's from uh, the uh, end of a ship. I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> it's pretty remarkable. Now I'm going to take you on a tour through the old part of Gidlai, the old town. And uh, it's pretty unique because you haven't touched a lot of these small buildings and houses for a long time, only renovating. Let's check it out. Most buildings here are either white or this beautiful yellow, which really represents the vibe which is on the northern coast of North Zealand. Also these 
roofs here, they're quite interesting. It's um, it's natural, so um, it's not really, you're not hurting the climate so much building this, which is pretty interesting. Walking here around this old town really feels like you step back 200 years. <laughs> Most of these buildings, they are 200 years old. Or maybe a bit older. In this exact building, there used to be a baker nearly 500 years ago, and um, they, you, you know you symbolize it by putting a little mark here, and also having the golden royal baker crown, which is a Danish thing to have. During the Second World War, a lot of Jewish people were fleeing from the Nazis, the Gestapo, and they were to take the um, boats across the water from Gidlai to Sweden. And uh, a lot of people from Gidlai back then used to help a lot of the U Jewish people to get over to Sweden. In October, a lot of Jewish people had to hide, and the church were welcoming and opened up their ceiling for them. So I think we have to check it out. Um, I've been there once in my life, and this will be the second time. Let's check it out. Now we're heading up to the exact ceiling where all the Jews used to hide. Let's check it out. Here in 1943 October, hundreds of Jewish people hide from um, the Nazi, the Nazi Germans. And um, they were in Gilai because they wanted to get to Sweden. And um, a lot of them were found here by Gestapo. And actually a few didn't get found because they were hiding in the top of the church. Let's check it out. You can, you can definitely feel the, uh, the spirit still living here. It's, uh, it's different. Right up here, there was a few children who were hiding, and they actually didn't get caught. We also have something in Hebraic saying uh, thanks for Gilai's help, um, getting all the uh, Jewish people to Sweden. Now we have to try out some traditional Gidlai ice cream, which is a brand new uh, brand. We just started a few years ago and they are really doing good ice cream. Excellent, let's check it out. Let's try some uh, Danish authentic Gidlai ice cream. So this ice cream is made in Gidlai and we have to try it. very fresh and natural. It's rhubarb uh, strawberry ice cream and it's very, very good. I think that Gidlai is the perfect place to put out anchor. Gidlai is located in the most northern part of uh, Zealand, Shelland. And uh, it is around seven kilometers from Greystad, Greystad and uh, around 14 kilometers from Helsing. If you want to get to Copenhagen, you can um, take a train to Hillerød and then to Copenhagen, or you can go to Elsinore, which I would like because it's my favorite part of, of Sjælland. The main occupation in Gidlai is um, the fishing and also tourists, because uh, there is a lot of tourists during the summer who visit Skidlai and also Hornbeck and Tisville, which we're going to cover in another episode of this season. If you're like into sail sports, there's also a big kayak, canoe, and a sail club here in Skidlai. And if you're more into swimming, there are also several 
small clubs like the open water swimmers of uh, Gilai, which uh, is a healthy thing, a great thing. In here, you can experience a little exhibition about October 43, where the Jewish people flee to Sweden. Let's have a look. Experience this old, authentic house in Gilai. It's amazing. You have the public library, a great library with a lot of great things. And if you are and if you live here in Denmark, you can also get to access the library for free, which is a great thing because they have good books and films and PlayStation games. Now we're gonna meet up with a good friend of mine who is uh, Italian and uh, runs a shop, a restaurant here in uh, Gila. Let's go meet him. What are you today? So Antonino, why are you in Gila? Uh, why did you choose Gilai and not Hilavod or Helsingir? Because I think that Gilai is um, mm, it's a small, cute and atmospherical town. <laughs> it sure is. Are you planning to stay here for a longer time? Mm, yes. Uh, Buy a house here? Father. No, 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 no. no. Or just no. Italy? Of course I will be back in Italy sometime. Uh, yeah. sure. And how do the people of Gilai like your food? Do they like it? Do they enjoy it? Yes, yes they do. Do they understand your Italian? Yes, of course. Since yes. the beginning they understand, they keep understanding and they keep coming. That means that they understand. And what's, what's the most ordered dish? What's the favorite dish here? Pasta, pasta. Which I one? make a lot of pasta. All pastas. They are crazy about my pasta. But you don't make my favorite? Not yet. You will? I puttanesca? I will. Puttanesca, yes. If you want puttanesca, I make puttanesca. Yes. Perfect. Buonasera. Ciao. Arrivederci. Ciao, my friend. This is the main street of um, Gilai. And there's plenty of shopping and uh, restaurant possibilities and options. If you want some plants, if you want some art deco, if you want groceries, I think there are six different grocery shops. Well, supermarkets. So I think there's everything you would need, actually. A barber, a school, everything. Let's check it out. And here's the main square. I don't know what's it called. I don't think it has a name, but it's filled with the restaurants, hotels, ice cream shops, everything. Very, very central and located together. There are also several bars, so if you want to get drunk, there's that possibility. And of course, you can just take the train to Elsinore in like 40 minutes or something. So it has good transport options too. We're going to check out this station in a minute. Here is the train station of Gilai, where you can get to Helsinger, you can get to Helsinger, and also Hillerød. So I mean, it's it's the middle of everything, so you have a lot of possibilities, and it's an impressive, beautiful building. We have uh, driven a bit up the uh, countryside, still in Gilai, because we're gonna find the lighthouse, of course. And uh, as you can see, it's so calm and quiet here. 
and it's just it's a nice feeling and you can bike around there's like these routes all over North Zealand so you can bike around check everything out here is the uh, lighthouse of Gilai and um, yeah it's a lighthouse but you have a pretty good view from over here I think it's the best view in Denmark maybe I don't know Behind me, you can see a glimpse of Sweden. And you know, in Denmark they say that Sweden has the best view. And you can figure out that. Anyway, thanks for watching. This was Gidlai. And it was the first episode of our new season of a cultural journey through Denmark. So I hope you would like to subscribe and eventually also like this video and comment where we should go next. Thanks for watching. See you later. Darling, if I do